I've not used this. Oh yes, yeah, video yeah. Is that is that the one? Yeah, just click on the arrow there and share your screen. Can you see that? Uh, no, you haven't shared your screen yet. You can't see anything. No, nothing as yet. Um, where is, it? is it the one the... Uh, hold on one second. Uh, oh, present now. Yes, it? yes, yes. Present now. Yeah, yeah. Present now. Awesome. Awesome. Right, can you see that? Yes, yes. I can yeah. see that now. I can see that now. But right now, you haven't actually installed it properly. Okay? There were some Why steps. There were some steps you missed, right? You didn't add the template file. I did, yeah. You didn't add the template file. So, let's okay, just... There's some C one, yeah? Yes, yes, the template file. Yes, did you... Yeah, yeah, this is the one. I loaded this. Uh, which was the, uh, I'm just changing some of the settings on my screen. Because I've got a black screen. I need to change the text. Otherwise, I can't see when it's in dark blue. Okay, okay. All That's right. Why you say I haven't done it properly. Yeah. Let me show you the screen fully. Uh, one second. Okay. Can you can you see that now? Yes. Did yeah. you did you load up the templates? This doesn't look visible properly. Did you load up the templates? Oh, okay. Yeah. Click on templates. Click on the SMC. Where is the SMC? The SMC one is here. Um, you didn't add it. Did you add it? Yeah, I just I thought I copied it. Um, it's. Okay, can you see yeah. that? Yeah, just tap on it, tap on it, click on open. Okay, so now you have a white screen. Ah, so okay, just yeah, click yeah, on, yeah, I didn't see this one before. Yeah, just expand, expand out the terminal, expand out your navigator. Expand out your navigator and then click on yeah. the SMC, the version 10.4. Double click on it. Okay. Yeah. No, just okay. double click on it. Double click on the file. Double click on the file. Oh, oh load the actual thing, yeah? Yeah, Two on seconds. the Smart Market Structure Concepts 10.4. Double click on it. Okay. Oh, yeah, okay. yeah, I see that. Yeah. All right, you can see how, oh, you can see how it looks now, yeah, right? Yeah, 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 I like that. Yeah, like this, that is, this is way better. So I'm going to be attaching the documents on Trading Kernel Stack. So what I want you to do is I want you to go over everything on how you install the software. I want us to just go over okay. everything, right? So we're going to do everything again. Um, you can stop sharing your screen now. Uh, Mr. Okay. Camaro, are you there? Please share yes, your screen right now so that we are going to do the installation process all over again. Okay? You want me to share my screen? Yes, yes. Please share your screen right now. Share your screen right now. Just a quick question, Tony, while uh, he's loading that up. Okay. You know, you've got all those different versions on the left side. You, you don't really need all of them now. Yes, yes, you don't actually need all of them. You just need the latest version. We just added that all because we... Um, we just... It came with the defaults, with the file, right? So we just added that up. Ah, okay. okay. Yeah. Well, yeah. Yeah. Okay. So here's what you're going to do right now. Um, is this the terminal you got from the folder? Yeah, this is a problem I go to from my folder. Okay, okay. But so, uh, like I said, I redownload it, but I think I messed up somewhere in the process because now when I try to load the indicator, it's not it's not doing anything. Okay, so just cancel out of the folder. 
cancel out of the folder that's fine just cancel out of the okay. terminal so cancel out of the terminal. no cancel out of the terminal cancel out of this terminal okay fine go to the folder that you downloaded from children kennel the smc mt5 the mt5 folder you downloaded okay okay so that's the mt5 version right yeah yeah so open the terminal open up the terminal okay so open up the 3662 fine so we have all the files here so just head over back to the 3662 terminal copy that folder and paste it on your desktop just like we did before okay copy that folder paste it on your desktop now Okay. Awesome. So open up the file in your desktop. Open up the file in your desktop. Okay. So click on the terminal right now. Awesome. So you've been logged into um, MetaTrader. Um, as you can see, the indicator is right here. Right? The indicator works okay. right now. Right? But just cancel out of there. Let's take it as we are starting afresh, okay, from scratch. So just cancel out of the the terminal. Cancel out of no. Open it up. Open it up. Close the chats that is currently open. Just close the chats that are currently open. Close the chats, right? Um. So minimize. Go back to the folder you downloaded from Children Kennel, the MT5 folder. right awesome so go back one more go back one more this is your desktop this is the one on your desktop go back to the one you downloaded from training kennel the main file the main folder rather the main file the main folder rather the one we were at the first the first time yeah this one so just click on the smart market structure concepts oh, no. this one yeah, go back, go back, go back, go back, go back, go back one more time, go back again, go back again, awesome, so now we are at, no, click on the folder now, click on the folder now, please, so now we are at um, the stage where we are going to copy all the files, okay, so just copy the indicator, open the indicator folder, open up the indicator folder, copy all of the indicators or you can copy just one but let's just copy all okay right click click on copy okay minimize this um, page right now this page you're on okay head over to file head over to file yes click on um, open data folder okay click on mql5 awesome click on indicators now paste it here you can see we already have all of this here but just paste it here and rewrite all of them okay just click on paste all right replace all files yes okay so go back to the previous folder we we're at Go back to the indicators folder we are not this one not this one this is the terminal yes this one's you copy go back one more step awesome so copy the template now open the template folder and copy the template yeah copy the template now click on copy you can minimize this folder right now you can minimize this folder as well okay so click on mq5 no you minimize that folder is the one we are at which one the one we were copying all the for all the files to look at it here the, the one on your right the one on the right side indicators yes so go back one more step go back to the mq5 folder 
awesome so click on the profiles right click on the profiles folder and then click on templates click on the templates and then paste it here we already have that here but let's just paste it here okay click on paste oh wow have you done that no i think i messed up i'll let it go back okay. click on replace awesome so we have the file here we've done the installation just cancel out of the folder right now cancel out of the folder right now click on view click on view click on uh, navigator also click on the view and click on the market watch again click on the view and click on market watch okay so let's bring up those two windows awesome so now you can see here your auto trading button shows off so make sure to click that on just click on the algo trading the algo trading button there that shows red click on it make sure it's green yeah click on it make sure it's green awesome so now click on tools one last thing we need click to do on click on tools click on tools at the top right it shows tools click on tools okay. yeah click on tools click on options click on options awesome so click on expert advisors awesome so click on allow DLL imports and allow web request okay now also on check on check the button that says disable algorithm trading okay disable those two check boxes okay this is so that once you change your accounts the um algo trading button wouldn't be turned off so just disable those two awesome so click on okay now yeah and we are done so drag out any pet to your to your um to your chat frame awesome expand it out so it fits your screen awesome so right click on the chat right now right click on the chat click on templates click on um load templates and then click on the smc yeah and then click on open awesome so that's opened up right now the next thing we need to do head over down to the indicators folder you can close out the market watch so you can see properly right now yeah so go up go up scroll up scroll up we can actually see the um we can see the um the indicator the smc indicator in the indicators folder this is because you already had it previously if you're just adding it right now you're not going to see it so just what we did previously just um right click on that indicators and click on refresh remember we did that the last time right yeah click on refresh yeah so now that will automatically come up so just scroll down scroll down now here you see the smc indicator so just double tap on it and then click on allow modification of signal settings and then click on ok awesome so you can see that has currently loaded up now the issue that we had last time was that you're currently logged into meta quotes right you're not logged into your broker so to do yeah. that just click on file click on file right now click on file click on open an account okay so you can see the sway markets here right yes okay so click on it and then you can click on next right so here now you can enter your login and your password and your server i'm not going to ask you to enter that right now because i don't want this to show on the on the meeting okay, okay. so whenever we go off the meeting you can enter your login your password and then connect your server it's still going to okay. be this terminal okay in order for you not to mix this up on the um icon button that shows on your tax bar you can cancel out of this um pop-up that shows here just cancel out of the pop-up okay so right click on the icon mt5 the mt5 icon on your tax bar down below on your tax bar on your tax bar you can right click on it and click on pin to tax bar okay so even if you close out this terminal it's going to be on your tax bar so whenever you want to open up your meta trader 5 you just click on it that's going to open 
Okay, very good because that was the issue that I had last night. Once awesome. I closed everything and I opened it back, I couldn't find anything anymore. Awesome, awesome. So this is how it's going to be now. Do you have any further questions for me? No, that'd be all. Okay, what about you first? Do you have any questions for me? No, no, this looks all really good. The only thing I, I okay, I don't know if you're going to go through yes 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 so let me just add the link to our community here okay so i've pasted that i'm going to be dropping those files in our community probably next one hour two hours from now i'm going to be adding those files here in our community so you're going to check it out and you're going to read through the entire document i'll also be dropping some video guides for you so if you don't know about the SMC strategy or how it works, you can actually use that as a guide. All right? Okay. okay. Awesome. Awesome. Good. Awesome. Okay. I'm you really know, happy to have. You, can, uh, you know, with the, with the settings in this, are you able to make it trade? So when it hits certain levels or certain Fibonacci levels, it, it yes. Can make it trade. Yes, you can yeah, do that. You can do that. You can even get signals directly to your email. You could get notifications on your MetaTrader Five. Whenever you have uh, the whole um, strategy aligned for you, okay. So maybe I'm going to make another video on that probably by the end of the month on how to you know set up the signals and everything. But you can actually do that, right? So it depends on your trading strategy on how you want to use the SMC. Yeah, okay? yeah, yeah. Yeah. That would be perfect. yeah. Uh, I mean, is there any other thing you'd recommend only with this specific EA that would help uh, with your performance in terms of? you know getting more accurate kind of entries and exits um is there I, else you would add to this? for you to be able to um, personally i don't trade the smc right we have our own trading strategy that we use on trading kennel right but there are several people that obviously trade with the smc and that's why we release the system for them okay so for you to trade with this smc you have to obviously understand how the concept works understand where to place your entries we have to add your take profits and your you can see we have targets there okay you can see we also have a yeah. stop loss target and you can see it also shows you kind of like where you could have entered and where you could have profited from you can see those targets there on your chart right now okay and you know once it's finished this uh, cycle does it show you historically whether it take those farms or do you does it leave it on the chart or do you does it refresh it again i don't know is there any way you can see whether it actually take those targets yes yes you can actually even backtest with this system right you can backtest with this system or your meta trailer five right you can backtest with really? along yeah across a period of time you can actually backtest with the indicator and then see how you understand how you know to place trades to exit trades and uh, you know stuff like that you can actually backtest with it oh that's brilliant yeah yeah this is really really good too no, i appreciate that you put it on the uh on your uh shopping cart it's, it's, it's a really good tool to have yeah yeah all right um so um guys i would have to go here thank you so much for joining uh if you have any further questions you can just reach out to our live support chat and i'll be more than happy to respond to you guys okay yeah no that's great uh just a quick question if we ever get a op option where it says men really needs to update uh, what what is, it, is that going to happen at any stage um if it says meta trader, i don't think there's any need to update okay if you update your meta trader it's probably obviously going to affect the system because this dll file only works for this terminal that was the issue we had yeah. initially that's why we had to release the terminal that it works for so there's obviously yeah. no need to upgrade your meta trader you're not going to use any of the new features obviously so just stick to this terminal for now hopefully yeah. if a new terminal comes out and we work for it on that terminal we can also release the terminal to you but the meta trader 5 is obviously the same i don't think there's any difference between this meta trader 5 and the one you're currently using there's absolutely no difference okay it's yeah, yeah. it's it's, it's is, is there very similar uh maybe i'll have to send another video for that but for now uh there is there is there is uh there is no need to update just click on the cancel button and don't update okay, okay. okay yeah no, fine no that's not Tony. appreciate that all right all right all right thank you so much guys thanks a lot all no right. problem thank you